I'm Michael Torno. And I'm August Santos, and welcome to the first edition of Weekday Wake Up. A statue of Mr. Potato Head in Longmeadow was vandalized with very offensive graffiti. The police are currently questioning Mrs. Potato Head, who reportedly lost custody of her left ear in the divorce. Local gay bar Majestic Saloon in downtown Northampton announces closure at the end of this fall. Unfortunately, patrons will be asked to sashay away. Presidential candidate Kamala Harris recently stated in an interview that she owns a Glock. Conservatives, now aware that women can own guns, are now questioning their stance on the Second Amendment. Last month, the final bull of an escaped herd in Massachusetts was returned to its pen after going through local businesses. As someone who's also been trapped in a Massachusetts pen for the past three years, I can empathize with their cause. A woman has pleaded guilty to smuggling precisely 29 eastern box turtles across the Canadian border. When asked why she did it, she simply said, well, it was easier than trying to smuggle 30. Tommy Innitt has responded to Logan Paul beef by calling him a man-child after Paul reported reportedly asked him to handle things like an adult. Experts have advised followers of this controversy to take a shower. Elderly man forks over $420,000 in an online cyber scam, thinking he was talking to Microsoft. All it took for him to hand over the money? The promise of someone teaching him how to switch the TV to HDMI 2. Earlier this month, an Australian flight reportedly showed an extremely inappropriate film to its passengers after they were unable to turn it off. Experts are unsure just how this airline got a hold of the leaked Minecraft movie. And with that, thank you so much for watching the first installment of Weekday Wake Up. See you next week.